In this lecture, we are going to understand what is discriminated union. Discriminated union is one way of implementing type guard in TypeScript. A discriminated union, it is also called as tagged union, is a data structure that can hold one of several different types of values, but it includes an extra piece of information, a tag you can say, that tells you exactly which type it is. This helps ensure your code behaves correctly and avoid any errors. Let's try to understand discriminated union with an example. Let's say I have an interface, let's say circle, and in here I have a property radius, which is going to be of type number. Then I have another interface, let's say square, and in here I'm going to have a property length, which is again going to be of type number. Now let's say I'm creating a type, let's call it shape, and this shape can be of type circle or square. Now I'm going to create a function. I'll call it calculate area. And this calculate area function, it is going to take a parameter of type shape. So I'm calling that parameter also as shape. Okay, and from here, we want to calculate the area. Now this shape can be a circle or it can also be a square. So for the circle, the area will be calculated in a different way. And for the square, the area will be calculated in a different way. So here, if I say shape dot, you will not see anything in the intelligence. If I try to access radius, you will see that we have an error. Because if the shape, if the value which we are passing to this shape, if it is of type square, in that case, it will not have this radius property. Let me actually go ahead and let me call this calculate area function. Okay, so here I can pass an object which will have a length property. Let's say length is 12. So this object here, it matches this square interface. Okay, and this shape, it can also take an object of type square. So that's why we don't have any error. And I can also call this function with an object where I will have radius property. So here also, this object, it matches this circle interface. So that's why we don't have any error here. So we don't know what type of object we are going to get in this shape property. It can either be a square, in that case it will have length property, or it can also be circle, in that case it will have radius property. Right. So here we need to do type guarding. And one of the way to do type guarding in case of interface we have learned is by using in property. So here we can say if radius in shape, then we will calculate the area by saying 3.14 multiplied by the radius multiplied by the radius and we will return that value okay and we can also check if length in shape in that case we will simply return shape dot length multiplied by shape dot length Okay, so in this way also we can do the type check or what we can do is we can use discriminated union approach because here we have only two interfaces for the shape but we can also have other interfaces like rectangle, triangle, octagonal and many more other shapes. So if we use this approach in that case we will have to check for each shape here. So instead of using this approach what we can do is we can use discriminated union approach. And in discriminated union approach, what we do is, in each of the interfaces like this, like for shape, we can add an extra property. You can call this property anything. You can call it type, you can call it kind, anything. Here I'm going to call it as kind. And to this, I'm going to assign a literal type. So here I'm going to assign a type as circle. So here, this circle is not a value for this kind property. It is a type. It is a literal type. And we have talked about literal type in one of the lectures of this course. Okay, in the same way, here also, I can assign the same property. So here, for each of these interfaces, we should have the same property. And for this one, I'll call it as square. The kind will be square. And again, this square here, it is not the value for this kind. It is type for this kind. All right. And now what we can do is inside this function, we can simply write switch statement 
to this switch statement we will pass shape dot kind and then we will check for some cases so the first case will be circle so you see here in the intelligence also we can see those values so if the case is circle we will simply return 3.14 multiplied by shape dot radius multiplied by shape dot radius so here you see in this case it is only showing us the radius property because here we are checking if the kind of the shape is circle so for that it is only showing us the radius property okay then we can check another case which is square so we have already written a case for circle that's why it was not showing that it was only showing square and if the case is square that means if the kind of the shape is square in that case we want to return shape dot length so in this case it is not showing us the radius on this shape it is showing us the length so as you can see the intelligence is also working here okay so we'll multiply shape dot length with shape dot length and we will return the result that will be the area all right so now if i save the changes and now when we are passing the objects here there we should also have the kind property because now these interfaces also have the kind property so let's also go ahead and let's set the kind property and to this kind property let's assign since we are specifying the length property so here the kind will be square okay and let me copy this line let's paste it here and there i'll specify the kind as circle all right if i pass square one here we should have an error because this kind property for this square interface the value of this kind property is expecting this value square no other value can be assigned to this kind property so when i'm trying to assign square one we are getting the error and same is true for circle also with this if we save the changes let me also log the result so for that let's say console.log and let's log the result of calling this calc area let's do the same thing for circle also okay so now if i save the changes we should not have any error you see we have zero errors and now it is calculating the area of square and the area of circle so in this way we are doing type guarding using discriminated union by setting a special property called kind for each of these interfaces you can name this property anything you can call it as type but here i'm simply calling it as kind now this is called as discriminated union because each interface here has a common property called kind that makes our union okay so this shape it is a union of circle and square and in each of these interfaces we have a special property called kind and that's why it is called as discriminated union so i hope with this lecture now you understand what is discriminated union and how we can use it for implementing type guarding if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day